Once again, Blackbeard has made huge moves in the story of One Piece. Boa Hancock's fruit is now in the interest of Blackbeard, Vegapunk's SSG has Lunarian powered pacifistas, and Kobe has been captured by Blackbeard. And now that One Piece chapter 1059 is out, today's video is about chapter 1060 predictions as well as the action, beauty, and lore of chapter 1059. And if you want more videos like this, make sure to hit the like, subscribe, and notification buttons to support me in the algorithm. So Blackbeard capturing Kobe is major news that I consider to be a black swan event. An unpredictable event that is beyond what is normally expected of a situation and has potentially severe consequences. A lot of people did not see this coming and for good reason. A lot of people thought that Boa would defeat Kobe or Kobe would defeat Boa or even me myself why I thought they would form an alliance. Because Kobe is not only a good guy but Luffy's friend and a sword member wouldn't want to send Boa into slavery. But clearly that was not the sequence of events that happened and instead Blackbeard showed up and captured Kobe. Now one of the reasons he could be doing this is to drag out and draw out Luffy. Because now we know that Luffy has visited Zo, Whole Cake Island, and Wano, Luffy now has three road poneglyphs under his belt. It's only one more that Luffy needs until he goes to Laugh Tail and finds the One Piece. And then when we take a look at Fishman Island, which we know that at one point they had a road poneglyph there that went missing, it's highly probable that it went missing because Whitebeard hit it. It was stated by fact that Whitebeard was a protector so it would make a lot of sense for him to move that poneglyph out of there to have Fishman island be a much more safer location and then fast forward we see that blackbeard ends up killing whitebeard at marine ford war and later goes on to have the payback war against marco when marco says stuff like we lost everything i think that's alluding towards more than just islands and their captain but something like a road poneglyph because you know blackbeard was on the whitebeard pirate ship for many many years i believe 20 to 21 22 years of course blackbeard would know about whitebeard moving that road poneglyph and even more whitebeard decided to hide it so with that being said blackbeard has a high potential to already have the final road poneglyph and he will go against luffy who has three for him to capture kobe and basically wave him in the eyes of luffy he's saying hey luffy come to me come fight me it's time for the battle of pirate king or even something like blackbeard utilizing gecko moria's fruit the kage kage no mi to manipulate kobe in his shadow because we know in the past how luffy and kobe had this grand rivalry luffy the pirate kobe the marine kobe once said that the next time they see each other they will be enemies so if blackbeard is using kobe to draw out luffy and then even have Kobe fight Luffy, this would be very heartbreaking for Luffy, but it would also show that Oda is pretty good at foreshadowing. He had this whole all oh, will be enemies thing conclude in a very unconventional way. And another interesting possibility is that Garp actually gets drawn out. Seeing how Garp was training Kobe for many years now, I would see that Garp could develop a relationship. Garp could have a love for Kobe. And after he lost Ace and Luffy went down the route of being a pirate while his father was a revolutionary army member, I could see Garp looking at Kobe as like a son he never had. So someone that he's raising to be a full-fledged strong marine. So if he knows that Blackbeard is holding Kobe hostage, if he captured Kobe, this could draw out Garp. And I don't think that's necessarily why Blackbeard did it. I don't think he's trying to draw out Garp, but I could see this as like a random event, you know, a random circumstance that happens because of this domino effect. And I really hope this doesn't lead towards Garp being killed because I would love to see him live and, you know, reach the final war of the story. Garp, Dragon, Luffy working side by side to take on the world government and the marines in the end game seems spectacular to me. So so, you know, Garp dying before that is almost like to me, Shanks dying before he reunites with Luffy. But that's a totally different separate conversation. But all in all, I believe that Blackbeard's gonna use Kobe as a pawn to draw out Luffy. So now it turns out that Blackbeard also has been waiting to get Boa Hancock's fruit. So you know in the past when Blackbeard mentions that he's gonna claim this prize before the Marines or whatever, it seems like he was referring to Boa Hancock's fruit. To us, it seems like she had the Paramecia, the Mero Mero no Mi, the Love Love fruit, but clearly it must be something different. With Blackbeard having this never ending trend of three, it seems like he's gonna eventually have a third devil fruit. But more importantly, he would have one Logia, one Paramecia, and one Zoan. For him to really target Boa Hancock's fruit, it makes me think that he wants it for himself and not for his crew. And then this would have to imply that her fruit is actually a Zoan. It could be the Hito Hito no Mimara Medusa or some kind of like Egyptian, Japanese, Malaysian, some kind of culture that I'm not yet aware of, but I'd be led to believe that it's Greek mythology Medusa. Now, even though I think he does want it for himself, that brings the question like, what if it's not for himself? What if it's for the 10th Titanic captain? And I know I have videos where I talk about Shiki possibly being the 10th Titanic captain or even Law being the 10th Titanic captain, but those are just theories 
series, we still don't know exactly who it is. So there could be some kind of woman in the One Piece world that's really beautiful. And he's trying to get that fruit for them to make his crew a true powerhouse against Luffy. But regardless, it seems like he basically failed to get this fruit because the Dark King Rayleigh stopped the Man of Darkness, Blackbeard. Now that is an obvious pun. That's an obvious thing that Oda chose to do, which actually goes way back to the pre-time skip. But anyways, this begs the question, like, is Blackbeard going to try again? Is he just going to give up? It seems like he really wanted this devil fruit. So for him to be stopped by Rayleigh like this and just completely say, oh, fuck the fruit, forget about it. It seems a little weird. But then at the same time, like trying to get it again seems a little off. But what do you guys think? Leave a comment down below if Blackbeard's going to try to get the fruit again. And also in chapter 1059, we see that Blackbeard has a 3.9 billion bounty. This is beautiful to see as a Blackbeard fan. And honestly, I would want him to touch 4 billion or be higher by now. But it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. He's about to touch 4 billion. But this has me question like, what did he do to deserve this bounty? Because it seems very evident that he had this bounty earned before this whole Boa situation. So he must have done something huge in between his 2.2 billion bounty and then his 3.9 billion bounty. And seeing how Buggy has some ties to Roxy Zebek with him but wanting to be king of the world and it seems like blackbeard inherited the will of roxy zebek i'm wondering like what's the possibility that blackbeard actually got captain john's treasure now this could build some kind of interesting relationship between blackbeard and buggy seeing how they both might have ties to zebek but that's just a theory another option is that blackbeard actually managed to get one of the ancient weapons uranus most likely and that the world government knows about it all the way back to like robin's flashback in any's lobby the ancient weapons were such a big threat and even you could argue back to alabasta ancient weapons have always been huge it's been a staple in the story so for blackbeard to openly get his hands on it and not be a world government official that would make him a huge threat and that could justify why his bounty would go from 2.2 billion to 3.9 billion and another super interesting point of 1059 is the fact that there's pacifistas with Lunarian DNA. Now it seems like what they did was they got the warlords at a young age, gave them giant DNA, gave them Lunarian DNA, which to me seems like they're cross racing, cross breeding giants, Lunarians, maybe I'm misreading, but this could lead to other factions, other areas of SSG that do the same thing. Maybe we could see Mink plus Fishman, Mink plus Onis, Fishman plus Onis. We could see all kind of like cross breeding, cross races going on with ssg and that is very interesting to predict and this has me wondering like why do they choose to have like the kid form of former warlords be the pacifistas like it seems like the young version of boa hancock is one the young version of mihawk is one i wonder if there will be a blackbeard one maybe a kuma one gecko moria one who knows but why why was that decision being made is it because they have some kind of their powers influencing the pacifistas i don't know but <laughs> to me like this whole ssg thing these little pacifistas now the seraphim it seems like it's it's a cooking pot it's a melting pot it's like jambalaya a whole bunch of things put together whether it's lunarians warlords kizuru's beams like all these things put together into one and now it makes a lot of sense why vigapunk and the marines said that this would outclass and fulfill the position of the warlords because this looks very strong to me it even had blackbeard worried Starting with the first rating of chapter 1059, action, it gets a 10 out of 10. There's plenty of fighting throughout this chapter, whether it's Blackbeard using his darkness, Boa swinging her foot and getting a huge kick in, 10 out of 10. On to the next category, beauty, 10 out of 10 as well. Plenty of really cool panels, plenty of really cool pages to make your wallpaper. Very, very good chapter in terms of beauty. And the final category, lore, 10 out of 10. And me personally, I would give it more points than 10. Just kind of fucking break the scale, but I won't do that. 10 just for the information in the boa incident you know the information about ssg and now blackbeard trying to get boas through the story can go in a million different directions i'm very excited for the future of one piece but comment down below let me know what you think about where one piece is heading thank you so much for watching like subscribe and hit the notification bell for more videos like this i appreciate you guys it's the demon king and i'm signing out